Hello, my name is Phil Tuproger from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we're going to have a brief look at the use of encrypted domain passwords with the Informatica command line tools. When you're using the command line tools a lot, or if you want to script for certain administrative tasks, it can be tedious and a potential security risk having to provide the domain password in plain text on the command line for every single invocation. This is where encrypting the domain password can come in handy. We're going to have a look first of all at how to create an encrypted password hash, how to set up the environment variable that will hold it, and then how to use it with the Informatica command line tools. The first step in using a, an encrypted domain password is to create an encrypted password hash. For this purpose, a client tool called pmpasswd is provided both with a server and client installation. You can call this tool from any machine where the Informatica platform is installed, for example, your own Windows client. You provide the plain text password like this and the result is an encrypted password string that can be used with other command line tools. In order to use this encrypted password you have to set up the environment variable info default domain password with the encrypted string. For example in this case we select this password string here go over to our Unix server and set up the environment variable. Now, as a demonstration, let's use the infocmd list licenses command that will display all the licenses available on a domain and that normally requires the password for the administrator user to be provided. As you can see, only the administrator username, the domain name and the gateway node have been provided. <laughs> As you can see, spelling the domain name right is important. So let's fix this. and the command completes successfully even though the password was not provided in plain text. Any other command line utility that uses the domain password can be used in this way and if required you can also set the um, environment variable with different password hashes for different sessions. If you would like to read up on this, you can have a look at the knowledge base document number 103805, which contains more information and a rundown of what we looked at today, as well as the Informatica 951 command reference that is part of the documentation set, and specifically page 17. I hope you found this presentation helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions, please send them uh, to supportvideos at informatica.com. You can also follow us on Twitter.